I gotta stop looking in the viewfinder because I feel like it looks weird. Wow, it's my first weekly vlog. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna have a blast doing it. Here's the thing, right now my life is not like terribly interesting I feel, but at the same time, a lot of things about vlogs is that they're not like terribly interesting. And I think it's just kind of fun to like see people go about their days. It's like escaping from your own life to see other people do like menial shit. <laughs> As far as my plans for the week, let's see if they pan out. One, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment and I have a 60th birthday party for a family friend that's like a second mother to me. I have to meet with my agent on Wednesday. I have to set up my Depop. I have been saying for so long that I'm going to sell my clothes that it's become a joke. Um, within like every single friend and family member I have in my life that I'm like, and I'm really gonna start, I'm really gonna start selling my clothes. And they're like, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, sure you are. And I really wanna prove them wrong. I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm getting my acrylics back on because I can only go so long without them. Uh, modeling jobs have been so few and far between that like, I just don't care, I'm getting them on. Watch me get a booking <laughs> right after I get those nails on. And then my parents are throwing a very belated 30th birthday party for me and my, um, like a family party on Sunday. That's all we have going for the week. I'm so excited to share this with you. Mine probably, like I've always done that with my cameras as I get my own, <laughs> my own manual like a book. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, hi everyone. I have been terrible at filming my weekly vlog this week. I'm not a vlogger, but I want to be. So I'm having to like get into the swing of things of like learning to like take my camera everywhere and like record everything that happens in my life. Um, I haven't really done anything that exciting this week. I've had a lot of plans pushed around, pushed back, but it's a rainy day in New York City. The roommate and I are about to sit down, eat some delicious Asian food and watch Abbott Elementary. So come along. Shall we? Should we shall? Mm. <laughs> the difference her weight makes is unfucking Did you see her at the old times? Yeah, she has a long, like, Beyonce wig. I said, <gasps> she looks stunning. I love how people hold phones when they FaceTime on TV shows. They're like, they can't hold it farther from their face. Yeah, Except for Emmy. Okay, this is our spread for the night. Ollie's noodle shop and grill. We got some scallion pancakes, some of the best. Oh, sesame chicken, lo mein. The best dumplings. Um, so we got some scallion pancakes. It's Saturday the 21st. Today is exciting. We have a lot on the docket. We're getting our nails done. Um, I am torn between these two choices. If they have the chrome, I'm gonna go with the chrome. If they don't, this other one. We're gonna go to the outlets, the coach outlet. Feeling coachy. Feeling coachy. We, we shouldn't, but we should. <laughs> no, yeah, we should not be going to the coach outlet, um, but we will. And then we'll be reunited with our child, our cat. It's been at camp. It's been at camp at grandma and grandpa's. Here we go. Um, okay, fit check um, to get my nails done. <laughs> they are my crocs. <laughs> Delicious. Ew, my hand looks like a cinematography. My hand looks like, like a, a turkey. <laughs> turkey <leg. laughs> okay, update. These are the nails. These are the nails. It's a sparkly French mani. It's going to be click clacking on things all day. Julianne, show your nails. Um, you might be wondering why I'm not in the car. Yeah, if I'm being so, so fucking for real with you, um, my IBS has been triggered probably by the very oily garlic knots 
that we had. Um, we just walked around Target. Um, you know induced diarrhea. <laughs> um, feeling much better now, but it, the smell is lingering in here. Yeah. We're being really real. We're getting really real on my YouTube channel. Anyways, here are my nails. Yes. Cheryl Blossom who? Riverdale literally inspired. <laughs> yeah. Is that allowed on YouTube? Um, is that allowed? Um, oh yeah, anything goes on YouTube. Now we're off to the... Goji's door. The outlets, so let's go! This is so cute. Try it on. Cute. It's a bag for my dreams. Hold that up. <laughs> Should I get a pair of Coach Sunnies? Bad. Thank hey, you. Girl. You're welcome. Your nails look nice. Thank you. Okay, just got done at Courage. I was really trying not to buy anything. Oh. Trying not to buy anything, <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. This is a camera bag, so I tricked myself into thinking that it was something that was like more of a need for my little camera. A little cherry little wallet. <laughs> there she is. Gorgeous. Just a little fun wallet. I'm duping myself into thinking I got a Prada bag. <laughs> Matches my new nails. Yes, it really does. A B strap for my AirPods that we were just talking about. I never use. Yeah, you can put anything in there. I but... could put my trinkets. Woo! That rush of spending absolute money. serotonin. Select product: Rainbow Ice B1. I think that's an eight. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think did we get dipping dots at the All Star game? We did. So it's like two years ago. Suck it up, bitch. Slurp. She's just like me for real. Alright. <laughs> what you going? Floss slam! <laughs> what the hell? Yum! Spoon is in the cup. <laughs> Scare. Wake up away. Yeah. Need more light? Yeah, no. He's good. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. What he looks like a little yin yang. Say? Look at his back. I like his tail. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Okay. And I like his little spots. Okay, we're at the end of the day, i.e. it is, what time is it? It's the next day. Got Chipotle for dinner. Um, I don't know what was going through my fucking noggin to get Chipotle after um, all my IBS stomach nonsense <laughs> earlier in the day. I'm really putting my stomach through it. Just wanted to end the day with one more little haul. haul. But we also did go to Airy. Just wait for this color combo. We got this shirt. It is such a little like Delia's Y2K inspired shirt. You know what I got to go with it? You're seeing correctly. It is a chartreuse velour hoodie. Gerald, what are you doing? You coming to say hi on the vlog? <laughs> Reunited feels. Oh, yeah. We'll say that it was like a matching jumpsuit, but the pants, they're basically, how are they see-through? They were see-through. You could see every dimple on my ass, every m m cellulite mark. I said, I'm not paying the exorbitant amount of money you want for me to buy these, but look how good. Julianne, look. <laughs> Ju Julianne, look. The, the vision of this outfit is to find a little jean skirt, which is hard for me because I, I've never really been able to find a jean skirt um, that fits my waist, which is smaller than my hips. So it's either like that it squishes my hips or it's loose on my waist. So I am on the lookout for the perfect jean skirt. So if you have any suggestions on where I could find a good ass jean skirt, let me have it. Oh, also, figured I would like talk about some like booky stuff on YouTube because anytime I try to talk about book stuff on TikTok, they're like, bitch, you're not a book talk person. No one wants to see this, but I know you do. So I'm just going to talk about it here because I'm doing whatever the fuck I want here. Okay. I just finished this book, Cackle, which I'm still thinking about. It was so good. So the book following it had a lot to live up to. And I got to say... This isn't really living up to it. The High Mountain Court by A.K. Mulford. I love, love, love a fantasy, especially if there's fae involved. Some sort of like royals, courts, uprising, you know, some kind of, kind of nonsense like that. I read the back when I saw it in Barnes & Noble. 
I was like, ooh, coming back for you. And so far it's like, it's fine, but it's not like doing anything different than any other kinds of these books are doing. If anything, it feels just like, it feels a little bit more YA the way it's written, which isn't a bad thing. It's just like, it wasn't in the YA section. I'm only like, how far in am I? This far in. So I, I have a little ways to go and maybe, maybe it gets better. Cause like when I read Crescent City, when I read the first book, it took me so long to get into that. And I was ready to give up so many times and it ended up being one of the best books I've re uh, read in a while. So I'm, I'm giving her a fair shot, but right now it's just kind of like, are you feeling feral Cheryl? Um, tomorrow is my little family birthday party. I will film some stuff for that day. And then that's it. That's the end of the week. So we're ready. Share. <laughs> we're ready to party tomorrow. Aren't we Cheryl? All right. It's the day of my two week late birthday party and we're getting the decorations in order. Me? Cheryl. Who's wait? <laughs> Cheryl's here for moral support. Cheryl's ruining the decorations. <laughs> she is. These things right here, she keeps trying to rip down. This is the party fit. I got my bow mint on. Cute, 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 cute. Oh. I would normally wear boots with this, obviously, but I'm just standing around inside the house, so am I not gonna wear? My comfy slippers. This outfit is cute. I probably will change out of it very soon. I'm just sitting around my parents' house. I want to be comfy, but just for everyone to see first, the birthday girl first. Here she is. Everyone put their nails in. Sorry. Y'all, this is the best guacamole that you'll ever eat in your entire life. There's grapes in it. Raisins and pears. I'm gonna make this for a video and share the recipe because my aunt popped off with that one. Around me are familiar faces. Get a costume change here. <laughs> costume change. <laughs> oh, Juno. Dad, what do you got there? I got. First plate of the night. Chicken rollatini. Chicken baked rollatini. Ziti, baked ziti. Sausage and peppers. Sausage and peppers. Meatballs. Yeah, homemade. And uh, what is this? Oscar. 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 What a spread. Yeah. Okay, y'all. That is officially a wrap on week one of my weekly vlog. If you watched along, I love you so much. Thank you for the support. But basically I'm trying to sow my YouTube oats because TikTok is not a viable way to generate income as an influencer. It's also just like, it's too stressful. I don't enjoy making content anymore because I hate the way the algorithm treats everyone this past like two weeks i've lost 400 followers and counting um not purposefully though you know that's the thing is that like i know that 400 people are not unfollowing me like that <laughs> you know like whether it's because they're getting rid of bots or if they're just unfollowing people for people i know that happens sometimes um, i'm putting effort and care into my videos and no one sees them so even if no one sees them on youtube like, it just feels better to just like create to create to make like little movies on TikTok. I mean on YouTube, you know, but yeah So get ready for more YouTube content. Tell me what else you'd like to see. Thank you for watching. I love you